Radiohead record number five, Amnesiac. Zach, how do we feel about Amnesiac? The big follow-up to Kid A doesn't match it. Amnesiac comes out like a few months after Kid A comes out. Mm. If you've watched our Kid A review, you'll know that I really like the album Kid A. Mm. I think it's the best album ever made. So to come out with like an album like three, four months later or something like that, and it's just all from the same sessions as Kid A, like it's all just outtakes, but they refused for it to be called a B-Sides compilation. You know, they were like, this is its own fucking album, man. This is mm. its own idea. And so the people that didn't like Kid A because there were no guitars or whatever or no con less conventional songwriting, this has a lot more of that. You've got kind of these more conventional songs. You've got your piano ballads. You've got your guitar tunes. But at the same time, it's also just got these really weird like sound art experiments and like... Yeah. And it doesn't, you know, where Kid A just flows like a wave taking you on a journey. Amnesiac is really just like... Bleh, bleh, ideas. Bleh. Yeah, man. Shit loads of ideas. Building blocks. I love Amnesiac. And it's got some of the best Radiohead songs ever on it. We're yeah. talking Pyramid Song. <sighs> Which if you haven't heard that song, I mean, go listen to that song and just yeah. try and work out how he's drumming in time with the piano. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. It was always going to be impossible, I think, for this to be as much of a masterpiece as Kid A or OK Computer. Essentially because it was released three months after Kid A and it's cut from the same sessions. And what makes Kid A so um, amazing, or at least one component of its brilliance, is how distinct it is from OK Computer. Um, this doesn't have like you know nearly as strong a departure as you need to get masterpiece status once more. But I'll tell you what, I think, yeah, this record's got some of my favourite Radiohead tunes. It's got the ever. tunes, you know what yeah. I mean? It's got just the numbers, just mm. the good old fashioned Radiohead numbers, you know what I mean? Mm. There is a subset of people that prefer Amnesiac to Kid A. They're all assholes though. <laughs> all assholes. <laughs> Fuck them. They voted for Tony Abbott, I know. Every one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, they pretty much think you're like, can they do any wrong? And certainly they didn't on this album. And although it's, like I said, it's very much compiled from like what's left over. Uh, what's left over is huge, mm. huge. And you get some great numbers that are just as good as anything on Kid A, but just wouldn't have fit with that kind of, you know, Aphex twin, quasi -elect you know, electronic, pseudo techno aesthetic. Mm. Mm. How many, uh, how many toms do you reckon you're going to give this guy? This would be a five tom record, but in the context of Radiohead's discography, this is a four tom and half a Johnny record, I believe. Yeah, and uh, I concur. That's a uh, four tom and half a Johnny from me as well.